Hey guys, Motor Car Nut here, and today I'm going to show you uh, the steps to remove a turbo on a third generation VW TSI 1.8 engine. It's the EA888 engine. It, it was used in a lot of the uh, cars, Passat, Beetle, anything with the TSI from 2012 to 2018. It's going to have this type of turbo. Now, when this is in the car, you're basically working like this. All right, firewall is over there, so it's very tricky to find out. I mean, even taking it off on the stand, it's a little bit tricky. So I think I'll show you what's involved. This way, you get a mental picture, so when you're there, you know exactly which bolts and hoses to take off, okay? So, looking at it like this, all right, turbo's gonna be mounted here. Now, I'm going to tell you all the fasteners that have to come off, and then we're going to explain them, all right? We're going to have 12 millimeter, one, two, three, and this one is, is very, very tricky. You're going to have to get that when you're under the car, okay? You're going to be under the car. Axle's going to be here, all right? You're going to, there's going to be room to get it to go like this, all right? So before we do that, this bracket is going to have to come off. Or you can probably get it. It's going to, you know, not give enough room. But if you take the bracket off, it's easier. Now, the bracket is a 6 millimeter hex drive, like an Allen key, 6 millimeter. And over here is a 13 millimeter screw. All right. So it's best to take this off. But it has, see how it can slide out? If you loosen this bolt, it can slide out with the turbo. But as long as you can get this bolt off so you can move it out of the way like that, because this one, <laughs> you cannot get it from the front when the turbo's on. You have to get it like this, all right? It's a little time consuming and you get it from underneath. All right, this one too, and these two on the top you can get. You don't have to take off the heat shield. You just get a 12 millimeter deep socket and put them in there like that. Those are those four, four bolts, all right? This one, five and six. It'd be best to take this off. Now, over here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of plumbing. You're not gonna know which ones to take off. You take off this one, all right? It's probably gonna have uh, a spring clamp like these, okay? And you take it off, and you take this hose off. Then, you're gonna go around the side. See, they put a spring, they, they put a screw clamp here. It's supposed to be a spring clamp. Like You could put a screw clamp if you wanted to, if yours flew out. You got to take this hose off, okay? And now the metal lines, the um, oil re and return line, is you take this one off and then this one off. So now we have one, two, three, four hoses taken off. One, two, three, four. All right, five and six bolts. And after that, now it's gonna come off. Now let me show you where they're located on the turbo. All right, so this is gonna get mounted to the engine. And, when I, and the, see these bolts are pretty, pretty easy to get to. Now you see what I'm saying on here? Now let's lay it down as if it was on the engine and you're looking up from underneath. Now when you're looking up from underneath, This is the hose that goes here, all right? And this hose goes here, all right? Now, the, 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 uh, the steel lines, one is on the bottom. That's this one. And the top one, because it's going to be mounted on the engine like this, all right, is this one right in here? And you get the bolt straight down here. You see it right there? Okay, those two bolts are spline drive, square drive. This is eight millimeter. So this is eight millimeter to take those off. You see that? Not that one. This one, eight millimeter, and the other one is eight millimeter. All right? And what I was talking about, the six millimeter, six millimeter hex 
is like that. That was for this bolt. Uh, you should lube it up because these bolts sometimes they strip out. They're very hard to get to. Very hard to take off, I mean. Okay, so now, after that, you, you just take the uh, hoses off and you basically wiggle it out. But what I'm trying to say, this bottom bolt, this is the hardest one. Let me put it up like this so you can get a better idea. All right? You see, this is one that's not so bad to get. Right? So now, that one, you're going to have to put a screwdriver, I mean, um, 12 millimeter. You get the box head, head first. You put it in there. And you crack this loose, and then you can use this this side, and to little bit, little bit to get it out. It's very tight because like you see where it is. Like you think you can go through this this way, there's nowhere to get get to it. It's right here, and you really cannot get to it. There's just no way to get to it. So they give you a little bit of room underneath there. And like I said, you're gonna be working like this to get it off, all right? So now, you can imagine in the car, you, you don't know if you have to take this one off, do you have to take this, this one off, like all these hoses, especially if you're doing this for the first time, you won't know what to take off. So this video should help you guys out. And can you imagine, look at this, this all the, all the exhaust, instead of four s exhaust ports, you got all of them going into two restricts power, but yet they put a turbo on it to give you more power. Ridiculous, honestly. All right, so um, now you got it. If you want me to, you could stop the video. Okay. One, two, three, and four. Four bolts here. These two you get from underneath. This, 13 millimeter. And this one is a six millimeter, six millimeter uh, Allen key. All right. And these two were spline drive, triple square, eight millimeter. And then when you install it, all right, you put new uh, O-rings so they don't leak. Okay. And that's basically it. This one is a little bit tougher, and, and when it's in the car, it's a lot harder to do. But now, I'm giving you a visualization of what it takes to take it off. Without that, you're going to take, you know, it's, you're going to start taking the turbo apart. You don't do nothing like that. All right, guys. Just trying to help you out. Motor car nut. Please subscribe. Hit that like button. Any questions pertaining to this video, leave them below. I answer all my questions. Try to help everybody as much as I can. I appreciate all the feedback, positive and everything like that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Really, thank you much for watching.